Namaste, namaste, namaste to each and every one, wherever you may be today, in this moment. Um, happy Guru Purnima Day, Jai Gurudev. Mm, salutations to all the Masters who have walked on this planet as embodiments in time, embodiments of the, the Supreme, unchanging reality that alone is real, and uh, who is the very essence of all living beings, and so therefore the very essence of ourself, yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you that we have opportunity to celebrate this day. I myself am have always a little surprised because I came out um, hoping that we are going to have a very silent, quiet um, morning. And uh, I stepped out of my room, my hut, uh, to be garlanded, as you can see. Uh, it was so beautiful that I uh, thank all of you. I have come to learn that some have come together to to make this uh, garland, and uh, you're always ahead of me on these things. And so, thank you, thank you, thank you. I walked further on the on the way to this to this chair, and I'm discovering all the messages of love uh, from the sangha, and I am really. Uh, I always felt I was smart enough to be ahead of things, but you surprise me every time. So, thank you. All my love to you, wherever you may be this day. We call it Guru Purnima Day, the day when we come together to pay respect and uh, gratitude and appreciation for our Masters, and uh, whose whose um, joy it is to bring us out of the darkness of the limited state of body mind, um, fixation, delusion, and to help to reinstate our um, minds in its true abode, its true place in the heart, and um, and quite rightly so that such days are held in high esteem, and that we come together for that reminder. And today will be no less a day than that, because uh, our Sangha have come together to, um, to ensure that, in spite of the limitations that are imposed upon us all around the world, on everyone, uh, with social distancing and so on, so ashrams and temples and community spiritual communities around the world are uh, following quite rightly so these uh, advice restrictions and so on set up by the governments around the world to stay at home and uh, true to spirit we have found a way that we can be together in this way so uh, i'm very happy blessed are all the communities wherever they may be around the world whoever they may consider their master it is all the one it is only the one, inescapably one, apparently escapably, because our body mind uh, preoccupation has been largely a distraction from the true self. And today, I hope the time that I spend to, with you today is again a deep reminding, an experiential reminding, an experiential proof again. Of the unchanging within the ourself, uh, within the apparent changing world of phenomena of mind, body, that kind of thing. So, thank you, everyone, for today. Thank you for being here. I can see a number of you on the screen. I'd like to welcome all of you from the village of Samartino, who is nothing other than the extension of Mantasahaja, with no difference really at all. 
that I'm here to to see your faces this morning, and uh, the screen is just uh, altering, so I get a chance to see everyone um, who has uh, come forward to be here today. And I'd like to also say welcome. Uh, this is uh, also being broadcasted live to all those uh, subscribers on uh, Sahaja Express. So big welcome to you wherever you may be and around the world. Thanks for joining, and for I know some of you are uh, really in a very different time zone, so that you can join today. Most auspicious, and you will see. In fact, glory be to the supreme self, the non apart self, the very much here and always here self. Thank you. I am going to have the, the garland removed for a while. We are going to keep it and put it in a very beautiful place in the Mandir. Thank you for all of you who have come together to make it. It's exquisite. It smells divine. And uh, love you, love you, love you with all my heart. And I can see some of you uh, raising flowers on your side. It's very, very beautiful. You know, the Sangha shines always, I find. That our Sangha is very much imbibing uh, the spirit of truth, uh, not merely in the in the mind, but fully, so that your actions, your presence are becoming more and more the evidence through the perfume of love and grace, the elegance of the spirit, the of wisdom, of uh, deep gracious love and the compassion that shines increasingly i see this uh, in the in the hearts and and presence of each of you this has been my huge privilege in this life that by grace we are brought together uh, to share and to wake up in the timeless uh, Zone of the supreme, not the time zone of the mind. And so, thank you so much. And now today, I will just remove this, please. Thank you. And this I can stay. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, today, we are about to start. Um, a sitting of uh, silent guided meditation this morning, um, with very much uh, Guru Purnima uh, behind it, very much. But uh, thank you wherever you are. Just be comfortable. Uh, we'll walk through this um, this uh, valley of the shadow of body mind into the place. That uh, is uh, pathless and journeyless. Um, thank you, thank you. Om. Jai Gurudev. And just as uh, I will begin just with the sound of my bell here, and uh, we close the session also with a bell. And uh, thank you. Om. Jai Gurudev. Without moving a single muscle or a millimeter, we are already here, just here. Had nothing to hear, had nothing 
to hearness. Like a vast expanse of the sky, clouds may pass, rain may come, storms may blow, stars, moon and sun may appear. in the unchanging expanse of the limitless. Here means just that, in the unchanging, unmoving expanse, limitless, of the Self, that is the truth of who we are, which alone is stable, effortless, perfect. Which alone cannot be reached by imagination, or the efforts of the body and mind, but which itself illumines the body-mind, the visible, tangible world, the senses. Without this, there is no without this. There can be without everything else, but not this. Today, this is the purpose of coming together, Guru Purnima Day. The pointing back, beyond all names and form, and all that appears through time, and through the mind, behind the facade of personhood, here. Beyond all map reading, beyond even pointing, beyond learning, beyond effort, but not a beyondness that requires time, or space, beyond concepts, beyond intimacy, beyond close, inseparable, unchanging, that regarded as the source of all manifestations, which by its own grace illumines the mind, returns mind to its own abode, abode its own root, this here, requiring no imagination, leaving aside all efforts, this. If one should attempt by effort to grasp it, it is already late. The very effort and anyone making the effort and the goal of effort are all momentary appearances 
in the Self itself. To say that this you know, before this, where knowingness, knowledge, knower, and what is claimed to be knowable, are mere appearances. Notice, you have not moved. It is not a question of being still. The stillness, which is without the activity or the intention, that which alone can be discovered, not created. Where you yourself are your environment. Today and now, consciousness shines upon its own self. This is not an event. Again, this is not an event, it is not a happening. Be with me here. Because it is not an event, it will not come to pass. There is no, there is no need for uh, any assistance, such as imagination or mm, so much so that even any attempt to try and imagine is already late. It's already seen, in fact, because the Self is here. One seemingly last step. The Self can never be other. It is not a place. It is not heaven. It has no residence. It is not imagined, uncreated, because it is creation flowed out of it, and remains in it, and is supported by it, and is pervaded by it. These things I share with you, they are deep within your own heart. I cannot put them there. Only I say, Leave aside engaging with the mind, and all that it can promise, even to find this. Leave everything, including one's own self-image, one's own sense of a self. It is only a sense of self. Do not imagine anything complex, or beyond, or ungraspable. Any such response clearly uh, comes from mind. Leave it all now. Leave it all. My time with you 
has all been a preparation followed quickly by the direct recognition beyond subject and object to that which alone is worthy of the title of eternal or timeless. Who could have imagined that in this life we would come to such a an understanding which is beyond intellectual curiosity or intellectual conviction? Like a mirror, like a mirror reflecting the reality you are. But know that you are before reflections. We are right here in this moment. You are not late. Simply remain open. The words I share with you can only be echoed in your timelessness. There is no need to go to the mind. There is really, for the one who seeks truth, There is no knowledge to save up. Don't allow such clutter. In fact, the highest equates to a kind of emptiness, a nothingness, not easily understood, grasped, or acceptable to the personalized mind. I take the chance to speak to you like this, because by now, this is known in a conscious way within you. Though the mind, uh, from time to time, may arise as an active play, really its power is not so great, when seen from the place of the conscious self. We put so much energy to perpetuate states of mind that in turn appear to hide our real nature. But that that itself is a an illusion and a delusion when believed in. Just here now. No steps to take, no conditions to fulfil. An emptying out happens by itself, unforced. Mind is not the doer of it. It can only be discovered It cannot be made Wholeness Can only be discovered It cannot be improved. I am directing your attention 
to that which cannot be improved. Recognizing this and honoring your recognition amounts to the realization of the Self, the purest goal of a human existence. My time, our time together, is to prove this, and to be proved as this. So that all the distractions, all the discouragements, avoidances, and postponements of the personal mind, Fall away in the light and the direct experience and understanding of the truth of you. So, as you well know, we are not here for a mere feel-good experience. We know now, through our experience, that all experiences come and go. All that is seen with the mind and body, they are passing phenomena. There is nothing to be sad about. You did not make it so. It is just a way of things. But you are not a thing. There is a thingfulness of the body form. There is a thingfulness of the mind play. But the weakness of these is beyond defining, directly perceived, also mean non-dualistically perceived. Directly perceived means uh, no separation. Consciousness is shining upon itself. Nothing else is involved. Now, beloved ones, come with me and leave everything now, just for this short, blessed moments. Allow this grace upon yourself. Leave everything aside. Put aside the plans, the intention. The old and the new desires, even personal identity. Leave all this now. This faith I have in you, greater than faith and knowing, leave this aside again to confirm, not even to affirm, but to confirm the truth 
the unchanging, the ever-present, the wholeness, sometimes called holiness of the Self, no imagination required. Do not take your mind with you. You can wait for a moment. If you do not cling to the mind, no disturbance will come. So I am not asking that we are to sit like this all day uh, in some kind of state. The sitting is already to the side. We are not concerned about this. But the being, which cannot be pushed about, looking with your inner eyes, confirming also that it can never leave. Even when we are unconscious of it, even when we are unconscious of it, hmm, the fact that it is ever present sustains you. Being conscious of it illumines the world, illumines the mind, illumines the body, and we feel fully blessed. knowing it is yourself, and darkness is gone forever. Actually, nothing we do or think or imagine can alter the fact that what we are is the Self. When we remain unaware of it, then, in fact, we suffer. May I say, even needlessly, um, maybe would that, that would not seem fair, because um, it is as though, consciously, we would not choose to suffer. This kind of suffering is due only to blindness, <clears throat> or a kind of forgetting, or a distraction. Again, leave all this now. Be here, where there is not even waiting. If you feel a sense of sleep coming into the body, reject it, actually. Or be aware of this, and already it, it is departing. Do not be pulled into sleep. It is merely a, a form of avoidance from the mind, right now. So, if there is some tiredness being felt in the body, be aware of it. Don't fight to change that, but stay as the awareness itself. Very good. There is an intention. There is likely sometimes to be some tension felt inside the body. Often this can come because uh, something is focusing on just being the awareness. It can seem much more easy to go with the mind, because there has been a habit so long 
so long. Um, we have been used to that for so long. It becomes easy to slip into some mind shape. So asking you to be aware of this and to remain shapeless may, in the beginning, seem like a little bit of an effort. But stay with it. Its fruits, its fruit is beyond delicious, and invigorates and brings life to every aspect of your expression. You are already fulfilled. Don't expect this from the mind. The activities of life must be carried out. There is no harm in that. Simply avoid identifying with the actions of the body-mind. Be aware of them. Let them unfold. Without identity, they flow with a great harmony. Such joy floods one's heart, floods your heart. When you notice this, and stay out of the fire of identifying personally with any activity. In the truth, satsang is doing what? It is not giving you a pile of knowledge. Actually, the highest unexpectedly, is to be back in the state of emptiness. This emptiness is not to be read by the mind, which gives a negative connotation to that. The emptiness I speak about is not a definition, is not a connotation. The emptiness is, in fact, the fullness and the wholeness. I love the term emptiness. I put it to be greater than fullness, because fullness implies full of thingfulness. But the real fullness is full of emptiness. When we are full in this way, we are fulfilled. It means that the actions that happen through the body-mind, they flow in perfect harmony, in spontaneity, and with joy, uh, unimpeded by the intrusions of the ego-mind. What I am saying, you know. This you know. And If I can put it in a word, cease identifying with phenomena. Don't judge it, don't push it away. Simply stop identifying, and gradually the sense of the focus, the focus of the self, if we can say even that, because focusing implies like two things. But this is a, a non phenomenal focus, which means that it simply means. The falling away of the mm, of the mind interruptions, the unveiling of the formless. We are sitting like this, and perhaps to an outsider, it looks you are doing nothing at all. You are simply listening. All the work, if there is a work, is happening spontaneously, internally. And what is this work? The non-phenomenal recognition of your eternal nature. It is not a doing, a discovering. 
for some of you, my words may feel a bit distant, because the mind feels more near. But the mind could not be felt to be near, or here, or distant, without this that I am speaking. This is no distance. This is the only one that can be called here. Knowing which, suffering comes to an end. Joy begins to fill the being. Cease going to the mind to assess yourself. So, uh, don't listen merely with the mind. If I say, listen with your entire being, don't ask the mind to understand that. You un- understand this intuitively. Trust that. Just being open. And if within your heart there is the longing or the desire to be fully the Self, whatever it may mean, to be fully yourself, to be fully home, to be fully true, to be fully with God, it means the same thing. Then simply be open and receptive, that grace can flow into your mind. This grace actually comes from within you, not from outside. And it is happening. It is happening. Take it that this life, every breath, is in support of your freedom. This life is for freedom. Freedom need not be an ambition about the future. Freedom points to the ever-present. Claim it but not just mentally. You have come, and we have been brought together for for this very discovery. Blessed are we, that among all things that are, um, uh, I would say, attractive to the human soul, that you have come to search for the Self. Rare it is. Rare it is, as a human being, in any span of life, is drawn to their own source. Therefore I say, Blessed are you. A special blessing today, on we are calling this Guru Purnima Day. Hope in your heart, and feel the grace that is flowing now. Yes. This flow will never be broken. It is always here. Distraction is simply an effect arising through the mind and uh, ego identity. That is all. You are never separated from yourself, only through ignorance. So may this day be fully charged in the Spirit of Truth, and the Spirit of God, for you. 
so that your mind will not be able to refute its power, the power of the Self. You woke up this day for this. You got up out of bed today for this, to be available to yourself. So don't touch other until you are confirmed as yourself. Thereafter, even the sense of other will be pervaded by the Self. I am with you, not even as other, as your own Self, as your own Self is also Myself. To really know this, happens mysteriously. in the receptive heart. When we are empty of intention and of identity, personal identity, it is like you become again an empty book that God can write a message inside this book, an eternal message. That kind of emptiness I am speaking. Just as you are here, without agenda, without schedule, without intention, you have gifted yourself this moment simply to be with you. The world can wait. The world is not waiting. But it is fine without yourself attending to it this moment. Attending to yourself is truly attending to the world in the most righteous way. What do I mean by that? is that when you are again sitting inside your own heart, this heart makes the world beautiful. What I am speaking with you, it is not poetry, it is totally practical, and to such an extent, that you will notice the living word, the words become alive, as Spirit in you. Keep your standards high. The Self has not changed. It has not altered. It cannot go away,
because there is no away for the Self. If you grasp what I am sharing, it will take care of everything. I don't mean that you can become lazy and do something else. I mean that you will witness and partake in your joy. You will see that uh, it was not the right way to try and control and manipulate life through the mind. That came because it was the wrong way to do things, a forceful way. Although we may engage in that, it is not our true way. But to be in your heart, you come into your natural harmony. Look how the world serves. Be open to this, because it is a different kind of service. You see, just these, this short time, and in truth, your mind and being should be totally empty right now. If the mind is there, it will interpret this moment as like, I'm lost, I can't find anything. And it is true. Nothing needs to be found. Even the one who is saying, I can't find anything, itself is seen in the light of your own Self. What a magnificent existence! When you choose not to bring the ego into it, In fact, every true encounter, every true encounter, should end in the silence, should allow the silence of being to pervade uh, one's being. It is only like this a human being rises up to salvation, actually. It has not been filled with intention, and the mind confused with uh, aspirations. It is simply to be empty and totally available to yourself. I don't have to prove this to you. I don't have to try to convince you. Your own being it will convince itself. You know it very well. This is the real health of life. Hmm. A still and silent mind. So today, this morning, I have shared these words with you. Actually, they are not words. I started by saying, Consciousness shines its light upon itself. Happy Guru Purnima Day. If you have really heard me in your heart, you will see that this is not a particular day. It is not a day of the week. It is a timeless. It points to the timeless. That which you are directly connected now to, can it pass? All things to do with time passes. 
only the timeless is ever present, unchanging, uncreated, unborn, imperishable, complete, whole, perfect, blissful, and true. No person can put that on their resume. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Papaji Kijay, Sri Ramana Mahashi, Jay Gurudev, Sri Nisagadatta Maharaj, Jay Gurudev, Sri Yogi Ramasrat Kumar, Jay Gurudev, Sri Lord Christ, Jay Gurudev, Sri Ram, Jay Gurudev, Sri Lord Krishna, Jay Gurudev, Sri Nanda Mahima, Jay Gurudev. Om Lord Shiva, Jai Gurudev, Mahadev. Sri Dattatraya, Jai Gurudev. Sri Adi Shankar, Jai Gurudev. Sri Bankai, Jai Gurudev. Sri Sarupanand, Jai Gurudev. Sri Vasista, Jai Gurudev. Sri Buddha, Jai Gurudev. Sri Unachala, Jai Gurudev. I'll just um, bring this uh, morning's silent sitting to officially close. Om. Om Namah Shivaya. Om. Om Shri Onachala Shiva Mahadev. Om. I would just like to spend a few moments in silence with you before we close today. Thank you.
शिवोहम शिवा स्वरूपो हम शिवो Shiva Swa